for those that don't know, like myself, I'm not really versed in what you can do as a writer or if you have a writing education. Could you fill us in on that? Like you're going to school to get this writing education. What was your plan to use this and what were your options or what new avenues opened up for you because you had this, right? Yeah, sure. Great questions. The first thing I'll say is I actually don't believe you need to go to writing school to be a writer. I want to put that front and center. That was something I'd always wanted to do myself. And that was probably partly in service of the 18-year-old who really wished she could have majored in English or it was not an option. It's something I just wanted to do just for me. The way my husband put it, he's, this is your best. He's, Some people buy a boat. Some people want a car that costs this much. He's like, this is what you want. He's, you're happy driving a happy $5,000 car. So you, you can have this writing. Sure. Was just a, that was just, so for me, like I, at this point, I was actually already doing some writing. Um, Like I was actually at this time, around the same time, I started working as a a content reviewer for a continuing ed company that actually had also started happening in 2013. So I was already starting to do some clinical writing, be paid for it. I just, I wanted to go more into the fictional space because I just liked it. Sure. But in terms of, there were certainly, I've definitely done writing where it's, whether it's research or whether it's like academic, I've been paid for academic medical writing or the 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 content reviewing and creation for the continuing ed company definitely gave me a foot in the door for that and then it's just a matter of building your portfolio and making connections and keeping in 